May I introduce you to Texas Stranger Francis Augustus Hammer and man responsible for the end of Bonnie and Clyde's crime spree. Hammer grew up in Texas in the late 1800s that joined the Rangers in 1906. Despite the turn of the century, the Rangers still wore six guns and rode saddle to catch criminals at time. Besides this, he spent his, this as both a sheriff and a marshal, gaining many experience in the field of law enforcement. He served in a changing time when need did shifted from horse drift to moonshine. Hammer fought everything from lance mobs and car cops uh, for to small time monster and murderous company hits. His life reads like a thrilling team story epic. But we all know him for being the villain in the tale of Bonnie and Clyde's story. He got out of retirement in 1934 to track down the duo. He brought back to the old style law enforcing hit Grenada with the bucking and compensation for doing his job. And began the hunt, studied them and found they moved in a specific pattern along the Midwest and set up in them. The Bonnie and Clyde meet their fate on May 23, 1934. Hammer